Whether our presentation is 20 slides long or 120 slides long, if we need to add a logo to all slides, then we add it to the Slide Master. Now we're going to use a shape as a stand-in for a company logo and we'll add that shape or logo to the Slide Master. So let's click on the View tab heading and the Slide Master button. Remember the default is that we land onto the title slide layout. We need to scroll up to select the overarching layout or master because if we want to add a logo to all slides, this is the layout we need to use. Let's click on the Insert tab and click the Shapes button. From the Basic Shapes category, let's select the Lightning Strike as our logo. And let's click and drag it out in the top right hand corner of this layout. If we scroll through the selection pane, we can see that shape is now repeated on every single slide layout. Let's select that shape and we'll change its fill colour. So click on the Shape Fill button, we'll select this orange colour, and again that change is reflected across all slide layouts. So even though we can see this shape on all slide layouts, it can only be worked on in this layout. Now to see that more clearly, we can click on the title slide layout and then try selecting that shape or logo and we can't. We need to be on this overarching master layout to select and work on that shape as this is the layout onto which we placed it. Let's close out of the master view. Now here on the front end of PowerPoint, we can see that all four of our slides have our logo on them. If we click on the down arrow of the new button, we can see that all the slide templates are displaying that same logo. Let's close out of here. Now there's one other point that I'd like to mention. When we place something like this onto the master, we are placing it into the background of the slides. Now that means that if we put something on top of it, on this front end, it will be obscured. So let's just take a look at that happening. From this Home tab and Drawing Group, select the rectangle and drag it out over the logo. And you can see that our logo is now almost totally obscured. Now naturally we can move this rectangle out of the way but we cannot move the logo as it can only be worked on in the master. Let's delete that rectangle. So it's really important that we position a logo in the master at a point on the slide where nothing will sit on top of it and obscure it on the front end. Now in our next video we're going to see how we can remove that logo from the title slide only. So if you're moving on to that next video called Remove a Logo from the Title Slide, then you can keep this file open.